And now the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, The Big Fight. We hunt the boar, the wily boar, sing tum hey diddle yo Through the woods we go with our trusty bow, sing tum hey diddle yo Tonight we'll have a juicy roast, and that brown ale we'll drink a toast. And on the morrow, up be times a hunting we will go. Sing tum hey diddle tum hey diddle tum hey diddle yo Great Rob will be the mate. Oh, Maid Marian, I can go no farther. I'm spent. Thou must, Dorothy. Dost thou want them to catch us? I care not, sweet mistress. I'm bushed. I mean spent. Maid Marian! Robin Hood! Sweet Maid Marian, what art thou doing here in Sherwood Forest? I come seeking thee, good Robin, for I am in sore trouble. Thou art most welcome here. But tell me, how dost thou escape from the gloomy castle in which thou wert imprisoned? We fled while they were arranging the marriage feast. Aye, while they were sampling the wine. Luckily for us, they sampled a little too much. Too much. We left them snoozing in their cups, even the guards. They were planning to force me into this hateful marriage tonight. Never fear. Thou art safe here. And if this evil Sir Guy dares come after thee, I shall make hamburger out of him. No, not hamburger. Crow's meat. Here, let me show. I'm sorry, darling. I'll remember it in the show. That's OK, Marty, but try it again. Aye, and I shall run him through and make crow's meat out of him. Oh, I knew thou wouldst not fail me, good Robin, and I am most truly grateful. Thou shalt not wed the knave, not while I still have my good right arm. But come, thou must be weary and hungry. Hungry? I'm starved. Then let us go to Alan of Dale's, where his good wife prepares a roast of wild boar. Wonderful. I could eat the whole pig myself. Of a truth, I find mine own appetite returning. But come, we are wasting time. Hark! Someone is coming! Quick, behind the log. Good to hide behind that log. You'll find him. Tis Sir Guy. Oh, Robin, we are undone. Never fear, Maid Marian. I shall defend thee with my life. Twill do thee no good to hide behind that log. I see you. Oh, woe is me. Didst think thou could trick thy future husband and get away with it? Thou shalt never be my husband, Sir Guy, never. Oh, no? Halt! Who dares say halt to Sir Guy of Gisborne? I do. And who art thou, varlet? I am Robin Hood, and this is my domain which thou art trespassing upon. <laughs> so thou art the villainous knave men call Robin Hood, or shall we say infamous? I am outlaw and thief. Stand aside, varlet. I've made my way hither to take thee back to Nottingham Castle. Then thou hast best return, for I go not with thee. Dost dare defy me, thou saucy baggage? You heard what the lady said. Quiet, varlet, or must I stick thee through? Will thou come peaceably, or must I drag thee to the altar by force? You will do nothing. Oh, no, and who's gonna stop me? Oh, no. Gosh, it should be stand aside, varlet, before I muss up thy stupid kisser, shouldn't it? No, no, not kisser. Countenance. What's countenance? Come, come, varlet. I've had enough. Stand aside, or I will run thee through like a stuck pig. Do not annoy me with that puny toad stickler of thine, or I shall box thy ears. I will hang thee from the topmost tower of Nottingham Castle. Then make it snappy. Snappy? I am all but prepared to cut short thy miserable life. You and who else? <laughs> Take it easy, will you? Say, they're really going at it. 
you're pretty smart, don't you? Trying to steal my girl. What do you mean, your girl? Don't try to deny it. I saw you smooching. You got bats in your belfry. Oh, I gotta bust you one in the snooch. Do it here. I'm loco! It was all his fault! Oh, yeah? All right, cool off. He's always trying to be a big shot and run everything and everybody. Well, you had no business sticking your big fat nose into my affairs! Oh, who wants to? Well, you didn't, you know it! Oh, a guy can't even talk to a girl around here without him blowing a fuse. Talk, huh? That's a laugh! You were smooching. Smooching? Yeah, him and Annette. Marty, how can you say such a thing? Well, you were. We were not. She was just fixing my collar. Ha! That's enough, Marty. I'll say it. You spoiled everything. I've spoiled everything. You did your darndest. Well, that's not my fault. It's not mine either. All right, you two. Get over to the bunkhouse. I'll talk to you later. Come on. Well, I guess that's it. Boy, they sure wrecked the joint. Yeah, it'll take weeks to straighten this mess out. And the show is going to go on in two days. Well, I guess that means we have to call it off, doesn't it? It's a shame after all your hard work, darling. You mean we'll have to send all the money for the tickets back? I'm afraid so, Moochie. Gosh, now we're in real trouble. <laughs> Dynamite, cut that out! What's the matter with you? Stop it, you hear me? Quit it! Quit it! Quit it! Hey, Spin! Don't go in there, I'll cut you to pieces. I'll cut him to pieces, a silly goon. Wait a minute, Spin. You better let him cool off first. Skyrocket, simmer down! What goofy guys. They don't even know what they're fighting about. I don't mean them. Huh? I mean us. Oh. We're just as bad as they are. Yeah, I guess we are at that. And worse. A lot worse. At least we have brains enough to know what we're doing, or should have. And look at us. We haven't got any more right to fight than they have. How can we expect them to behave after the way we act? Is it too late for me to say I'm sorry? Oh, it wasn't your fault any more than it was mine. Oh, yes, it was. I had no business going off half-cocked. I guess I kind of lost my head, too. Well, then, is there any reason why we can't call it quits? Not as far as I'm concerned. Let's shake on it. Sure. Come on, let's go up to the bunkhouse and get cleaned up. Okay. Hey, look. Well, I'll be a blue-nosed gopher. Me too. Spin, you going in for dinner tonight? Are you? I don't know. I sort of hate to face the gang. Fine pair we turned out to be. Wrecking the show and letting the kids down like that. Yeah, and after the way Darlene worked. Boy, I'll bet she's good and sore at us. She has a right to be, pulling a stunt like that. 
I bet she never speaks to me again. And I liked her, too. You do? She's wonderful. But I thought... I know, but that's all over now. Look, Spin, it's all right with me if you and Annette like each other. Wonder what Mr. Logan's gonna have to say to us. Next episode, Perkins saves the day.